Welcome to Programming for Juniors. Today, we are going to start learning um, a complete programming language, and it is Python programming. All right, Python is one of the most popular programming language in the world, okay? This is the language which is uh, most demanding in the um, programming world. You can become a Python programmer, you can become a Python developer, or you can become a full stack Python software engineer if you really want to. Okay, how long it will take to become a Python developer? Usually, it takes four to six months to learn each and everything. But if you want to become an expert programmer, you have to start continuing uh, learning to code Python programming till a year. Okay, you have to invest one year if you want to become an expert programmer uh, with Python programming. Okay, fine. If you want to become a Python developer or Python uh, web programmer, you can learn it within three to six months. What you have to learn here, you have to learn Git in GitHub. You have to learn um, uh, the front end technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. And finally, you have to learn Python programming uh, up to intermediate level. You have to learn what is data structure, data structure, variables, a function, uh, file loop, mm, decision making. And you have to become expert in object-oriented programming. Only then you can start with web uh, framework, uh, Flask, and Django. So uh, actually, it will take uh, around six months if you want to learn well. And if you want to become master, I will suggest you to invest one year then you will be a job ready web programmer or Python developer or Python full stack software engineer. Okay, and software engineer has to learn extra uh, algo algorithm and data structures. Okay, so without further ado, let's start programming with Python. Uh, first, we have to have a Python uh, software on our computer. We have to download and install. Today, we are going to do it. Second, you need Git and GitHub. And third, you need uh, um, code editor, a good code editor. We already downloaded um, Git. We already set up GitHub, and we also already downloaded and installed on our computer a good code editor, and it is Visual Studio Code. If you haven't done it, if you haven't done it yet, check the below and find out some video tutorials and do it instantly. And let's start coding. Today we are going to just download and install Python software and start programming or coding instantly using uh, Git version control or using uh, CMD. I'm using 
um, Windows, Windows 10. And if you are using Mac, almost same process. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, let me open a new tab and just type python.org. Python.org is the main website of Python programming. Okay, and I highly recommend to visit this uh, website or web application uh, off and on whenever you get time and read the documentation, okay? Documentation, if you know very basic, uh, at the very beginning, you have to learn some basics uh, with me or with some other tutors or teachers. If you just can learn the basic, and then you can practice yourself and develop your skills in uh, Python programming by yourself from anywhere in the world, okay? So I just go to download and I see download for Windows uh, Python. This is the latest one, 3.9.1, okay? And before downloading it, let's check whether we have Python, say Python-B, Python was not found. That means we don't have Python and we have to download and install it. Okay, let's do it. Just uh, go and click on Python. Now, you see download for Windows. If you are using MacBook or Linux operating system, it will uh, say download for Mac, Mac OS, or download for Linux, okay? So don't worry about it. It will depend on what device you are using. Then just click here, okay? It's drop up, you see up, click here, show in folder, and it will show you in a folder, okay? Right button click or just double click to install it. Run as administrator, I'm running it. Uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I will say yes, because I want it to be installed on my computer then it will be installing instantly now uh, what is the operating system 64 bit or 32 bit don't worry about it okay just check in add python 3.9 to path okay if you want to customize installation, you want to put somewhere else, you can do it. But I will prefer install. Just clicking here, okay? And it is being installed. Python is being installed on my computer, okay? And it might take 10 to 15 seconds. Very simple and straightforward. You don't need to worry about it. Just keep watching until uh, the installation has been done, okay? And Python is a very uh, easy language. Anyone can learn it. Uh, and we will start from very uh, beginning or from scratch so that anyone can follow me and i usually speak very slowly so that uh, non-english speaker can even follow me okay but if you are um, native speakers or expert in english what you can do you can go to youtube okay and you can speed up up to 
double. If you think uh, I'm speaking very slowly, you can speed it up 1.5, 1.75, or double. Okay, how you can do it? Just go to any video, I can show you. I'll click on the video. You want to speed it up, just go here, okay, and choose not normal 1.5, it will become 1.5. Uh, speed and if you want to make it uh, 1.5, 1.75 or double, just click here and it will be very speedy. Okay, I think we are done. I can check, not yet. Okay, and it will be very soon. Uh, setup was successful, just close it. Okay, now. Uh, we can just type Python, okay, and v, we say something else, not this, right? So I can type again Python dash v, and I see a lot of things, okay, uh, but we can also see. Python 3.9 has been installed and we can check here, you see. Uh, I think what's going on, CLS, not working. Okay, I can exit, I think, not even working. What the hell is going on? Oh, just press. Nothing is working. Anyway, um, I guess keyboard interrupts. Okay, um, this is Python shell, and so we can start coding here. Uh, I can say print. Okay, print is. Uh, uh, inbuilt function in uh, Python that helps us to see the outputs of our programming. Okay, now what is programming? Programming is nothing but a set of instructions for our computer uh, how it will work. Okay, so program is nothing but set of instructions for computer. How it will work. Okay, now I just say hello world and close the parenthesis, press enter, and hello world has been printed. Amazing, this is the power of programming. Okay, beautiful. Then what I can say is uh, Python is easy. Okay. In. Come on, I just say up arrow, press up arrow, and Python is easy. And I say prints. Okay, what do you expect to be printed? It will print Python is easy because A is here. Uh, Variable, variables, nothing but a container, and inside the container, we store data. Python is easy. Okay, so um, variable is a container in programming that helps us to store data. Okay, so Python is easy. It's a data we store inside a container. We call it variable in programming. Inside A. Then we print A, we print variable A, and we get back the data. Uh, Python is easy. Okay. Same way we can store uh, also integer. So these are uh, a string, we call it string. String is a combination of letters, words, okay, uh, 
uh, composition of letters, words, and also uh, number, but will be inside the string. And whatever we use in the numbers, uh, these are integer or floating, float number. Uh, so the full number is integer like uh, 1000 so for example b is equal to like 50 and we can say c is equal to a plus b okay and we can print c and we will get the uh, total number okay total uh, of a plus b is 150. Even we can print a divided by b and the output or result is 20. Okay, and not only that, we can even um, say a into b result is 50,000 and even you can deduct a minus b and result is uh, 950 okay so very simple and easy this is the first day of our programming uh, with python so we have learned so far how to download and install python on our computer and how we can run a python code using print method print is in built method or built in method that comes with python okay we learn also variable how to store data inside a variable and how to uh, execute it execute means run okay and we also learn how to deal with string okay and integer okay we also learn how we can do calculated task using python programming okay so that's all for today i think that's enough for the day one and just keep practicing okay and we will learn a lot okay i just exit from python shell how we can go to python shell i can just write python then press enter and i will get this python shell to start coding with python without using any uh, extra software or code editor or IDE, IDE means Integrated Development Environment, okay? Without creating an environment, just we can download the software instantly, install it and start coding. Again, uh, after installation, you can actually, um, how I clear it? I just type CLS, okay? Then just type Python, okay if you are using a macbook you should type python 3 then press enter and you will get this python shell to start writing uh, python code on your computer instantly how beautiful it is how powerful it is okay and always remember programming teaches us how to think that's why everyone should learn computer programming the kids the parents teachers businessmen lawyers everybody should uh, learn uh, practice uh, programming because it teaches us how to think okay how to think uh, uh this is said by uh, steve jobs the uh, former uh, ceo of apple company 
Okay, Steve Jobs, everybody knows him. All right, that's all for today. If you're watching this uh, YouTube channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you can get a notification. Thank you very much. Let's keep learning. And in next six months, we are going to become a Python developer or Python software developer or Python web programmer. And we can create cool web applications using Python, Flask, and Django, and many more. Okay. And um, this YouTube channel is uh, primarily run for the uh, juniors, both in English and Bengali language, but uh, the seniors can also follow this YouTube channel and uh, start learning today. Okay, anyone can of any age can follow this YouTube channel, and programming can be learned from any age. You can be 60 years old or 90 years old, that doesn't matter. Even if you are 100 years old, just start today. It's never late to learn coding or programming at any age. Just start coding. You will learn it. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. That's all for today. Wish you all the best.